which may draw near to our walls, but we must come together now for the glory of Athens. Glory for you! <laughs> Friend, friends, please! Just because the Spartans are near our walls does not mean we can act like them. A good crop. Shame the Spartans burned the fields where it grew. The Parthenon is glorious, Pericles, but at what cost? How many tree dams could we have built instead? We must not become divided! We are divided! And the Spartans are winning! Act, Pericles, or I will! Oh, good. You came. Things are worse than I feared. Cleon has turned the mob. We have to hurry. Where? To Pericles. Stay back! She is no threat to Pericles, I assure you. Ah, Herodotus. It's fine. Let them through. It's good to see you again, Pericles. And you as well. I only wish it were under better circumstances. And who's this? Cassandra. Welcome, Cassandra. And what did you think of your first taste of Athens? I think you did a great job. It's so easy to forget the good someone has done when times become hard. Pericles, we've come to... We must choose our moment wisely and speak our words more privately. Fine. We've come to you on urgent business. As does everybody. I may have told Cassandra you'd invite her to your symposium. You'd ask me to exclude every Athenian and invite an outsider instead. You heard the crowd. They don't need another reason to hate me. If she's working for you, maybe the prying eyes will see her as a servant. I'm no one's servant. Cassandra, this is Athens. If you want something, sometimes you have to play a role. And what exactly is it that you want? I'm looking for a woman who's very important to me. Herodotus said a symposium could be useful for gaining information. He would be correct. I can get you in, although I can't promise the information you seek will be found. Just tell me what to do. First, check on my colleague, Mediochos. He was meant to meet me today, and it's not like him to miss an appointment. Done. My friend, Phidias, needs to be taken out of Athens as soon as possible. Anything else? Yes. There's an ostracism vote taking place that could use your... Uh, influence. Meteochos? You said he was your colleague? A politician and ally. He's one of my most loyal friends. Phidias? The famous sculptor? What did he do, exactly? He stands accused of multiple offenses and is awaiting trial. You'll find him under close guard at his workshop. Ostracism? Exile is a term you may be more familiar with. Here in Athens, we vote between two people to decide who should leave. It's between the sophist Anaxagoras and another man on trial for impiety. My contact near the Aurora will give you the details. I'll do it. I'll expect you to use discretion. That went well. It isn't exactly an invitation, but the promise of one is just as good. Although I'm sure he'll still ask Aspasia if it's okay. So long as it comes.
the gods! Why did it have to be snakes? Help me! If you leave, these snakes will kill me! Get me out of here! Hurry! Kill the snakes before it's too late! Why are there so many snakes? The god that sent you here. I'd have been eaten alive if it weren't for you. I don't think they'd eat you. But they would have certainly killed me. So thank you. I'm always happy to help someone in need. The world could do with more like you. Especially now. Pericles sent me. He was worried about you. You often get tied up and surrounded by snakes. How can you joke about this? Thugs broke into my home, dragged me here tied me up and surrounded me with these hideous creatures. They must be stopped. The snakes? The thugs! Why would anyone do this? Politicians are easy targets in these troubled times. When they tied me up, they said I was a snake. That I should die by my own kind. Did you recognize the people who did this? Pericles asked me to go down to the fishing district and talk with the poor and sick. To give them hope. That's how I recognized their voices. Oh, yes. They threw rotten food and yelled insults at me. These thugs disguised their faces, but their voices and the stench of fish were unmistakable. Where should I look? I couldn't see their faces, but I recognized their voices from one of the districts I visited. They're regulars at Cleon's rallies. They live in the flooded part of the city, near the wall. I'll track them down, Metiochos. Don't worry. Tensions are high right now. At this rate, we'll tear each other apart within the city before the Spartans can breach the walls. of Athens, I doubt Pericles is proud to talk about. There has to be a clue around here somewhere. Snakes. Like the ones that were meant to kill Metiochos. Someone hid the body, though I have a feeling this death was an accident. It looks like the thugs who attacked Metiochos weren't the masterminds behind this plot. This must be the house of Metiochos' attackers, but the letter proves they're just tools in someone else's plan. Whose? What the fuck are you doing sniffing around my house? You attacked Metiochos. I found the snakes, the letter from your friend, and the body. All here. Ah, oh, poor Actis. We all knew the risks. Chains don't happen without a bit of blood being spilled. Why kill Metiochos with snakes? We're prisoners in our own city. Because of Pericles and his crooked friends. The snake dealer told us it's time to send a message. Time they suffered. You can't take the law into your own hands. Now I need to decide what to do with you. Cleon says it's time we took the city back from the elite. Time to fight. Don't matter what you do to us, there will be others who follow our lead. I know someone gave you those snakes. They used you to do their dirty work. I want to know who. He's the real hero of Athens. No puppet of Pericles is going to stop him. Don't be someone's puppet. Tell me where the snake dealer is. All right, all right. He's got a camp just outside the walls. Sells his snakes from there. 
It's not too late to make a difference, but we have to work together. Maybe you're right. You didn't have to show us mercy. But where do we start? Start here. This district is your home. Ignore the politicians and concentrate on where you can make change. Thank you. We will try. I need to rid the things of this snake cellar. I'll end you, Mistios. You'll feel the sting of my venom. You can't stop me. His death should keep friends quickly safe. Looks like your situation's improved since we last met. The danger has passed for now. But while those monsters are out there, no one is safe. A group of fishermen tied you up. They were being used by a snake dealer working for enemies of Athens. What did you do with them? I showed them the error of their ways and sent them on their way. They won't be bothering you again. I'm glad no blood was shed. But how do you know they won't return? I made it very clear that doing anything stupid would make me angry. Well, that must have been a terrifying experience for them. Thank you for your help, Mistios. I'll be sure to mention this to Pericles. You must be the one Pericles sent. I am. He said there was an ostracism vote, but didn't tell me what I'm here to do. Of course he didn't. That's what I'm for. If someone is exiled, can they return? If they do, they'll be punished. What does someone have to do to be ostracized? Anyone seen as a threat to the city or the people is enough. And then it is up to the vote. Some have been ostracized for simply being more disliked than the person they're up against. What's my role in this? The votes have already been cast. We don't have long before they're counted. Take the Ostraka in this bag and exchange him with the ones currently under guard. You want me to rig the ostracism? Pericles dies, and he has his reasons, I'm sure. Bring me the bag you took from the room, and I'll take care of the rest. No one will see me go in or out. Stay here. from all over the Greek world. You wouldn't think the city was besieged by an army of Spartans.
I should let Pericles' contact know. It's done. Hmm. You work quickly. What are you going to do with them? Dump them in a well. Ah, it looks like the official has arrived. I apologize for the delay. There was evidence someone attempted to tamper with the votes. Don't worry. The Ostraka are all accounted for. The votes were counted, and Araxagoras is to be ostracized. Slow to fall into friendship, but once you do, continue firm and constant. It will be more difficult for me now that Anaxagoras must leave Athens. We are quite close, although he and Pericles were much closer. It's strange, Pericles wasn't here today to defend him. Would Pericles normally defend someone? A good friend? Of course. Yet, Anaxagoras seems pleased with the result. This day has brought more questions than answers. You said you were close. He was like a mentor to me. Many of my best thoughts came to fruition through our conversations. Who are you? Ask anyone and they'll tell you Socrates. But a name gives you nothing. Our actions determine who we are, and every action has its pleasures and its price. With that said, then, who do you claim to be? My name is Cassandra. And still, I don't feel I know you. Perhaps I can find out who you are a different way. You want to know me? Knowledge is the one good in this world. Surely you agree? Of course. Knowledge drives everything I do. Then we are the same in that way. Knowledge of when to attack, what weapon to use, or when to use reason instead of violence. We seem to put our love of knowledge into practice quite differently. I use it how I need to. You are clearly someone who would do whatever you feel is necessary. Perhaps for Drachmi, or maybe to further a personal goal. That describes a lot of people. I suppose I'm curious why you did it. How could I not be, when you're the reason my friend is being forced to leave the only home he's ever known? I did what I was asked to do. And your needs are greater than those of the man you helped ostracize. Still, you raise a fine point. Who is more responsible? Anaxagoras for getting himself mixed up in this? Or you, for simply sealing his fate? Fine. I'm more responsible, but I did it because I have one concern, myself. Then I hope you also think about today, about Anaxagoras, about choice. Socrates, there you are. Here I am. 
You're late. They're all waiting for you. I wish to see Anaxagoras' fate, and so I have. Tell them I'm on my way. Well, it seemed our conversation is at its end. Although I hope it isn't the final one we have. I wouldn't know. Keep it moving. Stop. I can't let you go any further. It isn't often you see a guard outside of an artist's workshop. I just do what I'm told, stranger. And until I'm told otherwise, no one is going in or out. Stand aside. This is important. So is keeping people out. Maybe you can see Phidias after his trial, if the people spare his life. Listen, I'm working for Pericles. He wants me to see Phidias. Well, I'm working for the people of Athens, and they want Phidias dead. Now back off, or you're dead too. Everyone has a price. How much drachmi is this going to take? Depends how much you have. Here, take it. That'll do just fine. You tell anyone I did this and you're as good as dead. Funny. I was going to say the same to you. Sorry about that. How did you get past the guard? No one gets past the guard. Relax. Pericles sent me. Ah, praise Athena. I knew he'd send help. I was worried they sent someone after me. He sent me to get you out of Athens. So he knows about the plot. You mean the trial? From what I've seen, you don't stand a chance. Ah, the people love me. I am the Phidias. There are others. Look. Malaka. It isn't the trial Pericles is saving you from. These are instructions to murder you. Who wrote this? I don't know who to trust. I'm just an artist. I just wanted to create. Please, what am I to do? First, you need to pull yourself together. You're on trial, the people are against you, and now I find that the cult want to kill you. Uh, I said, pull yourself together! Yes, of course. Cleon said, you're wasting the people's drachmi. If he had his way, he'd serve them your head. Cleon mentioned me? That's going to hurt Pericles. First impiety, now theft. After all we've done for this city. You and Pericles seem close. For Pericles and me, it started with our love of Athens. Our differences push us to greatness. That is true friendship. All right, we need to go. Do you have any idea where I can take you? South of Athens, there's an island called Seriphos. My friend Theras lives there. When I discovered the plot against me, I sent word to him. If anyone can help us, he can. Any clues he has of the cultists' identities, I want them. Yes, yes, anything. A guard. I'll distract them while you sneak out. Meet me tonight to set sail for Seriphos. Don't show your face until you see me at the docks. I understand. You didn't really think I'd let you come and go as you please, did you? Now, where are you? Good. You made it. I was beginning to worry. I told you I'd get you out of Athens. So you did. Can your friend be trusted? Theras and I have been friends for a long time. I just sent word telling him where to meet us. Wasting time will only get us into trouble. Let's head to Seriphos while we still can. Position for sailing! That storm looks nice. More or! Nice ship. You don't have... 
have to do that. Do what? Fill the silence. Oh, I wasn't trying to do that at all. I think I don't find myself traveling the seas very often. It can be free. Yes, free seems to be an accurate word. Although I've begun to feel a bit sick. Lean over the side if you need to. Otherwise, you're cleaning it up. nearby! It's good to see you alive and well, Phidias. And you, Theonis. As you can see, I didn't get here alone. Ah, yes. The kind and thoughtful hero you mentioned in your letter. I'm glad I could get him out alive. And for that heroism, I found some information on a man named Brisson who's plotting Phidias' early demise. Hopefully you can make something of this clue. I can. Please give Pericles my thanks and my farewell. And be careful. I still believe many in Athens are in danger. 